マ大学とアダマンド並木精密宝石の研究チームは人工ダイヤモンドを用いた次世代パワー半導体の作成に成功したと発表しましたパワー半導体は電車や電気自動車スマートフォンの充電器などに搭載されている電力を制御するための半導体ですダイヤモンド半導体は現在主流のシリコン製に比べ理論上エネルギー損失が低く高い電圧にも対応できるとして究極のパワー半導体と呼ばれていますが理論値よりも電流の値が極めて低いなどの課題がありました研究チームはアダマンド並木が開発した世界最大となる直径1インチのダイヤモンドウェハをベースに佐賀大学が考案した新たな原理で動作する半導体を作成これによってこれまでの課題を克服し世界最高となる1平方センチメートルあたり179メガワットの出力電力を達成したということです変電所で使った場合もうこの一個半で佐賀県の家庭で使う電力を全部あの、まあ、出すことができますコントロールすることができます研究チームは電気自動車や 6G の携帯基地局などへの応用を視野に5年以内の実用化を目指すとしていますアメリカとか中国があのすでにこの技術に非常に興味を持っておりましてまあ、彼らもやろうとしている研究のスピードを加速してですねもう5年以内にあの実用化まで持っていかなければいけないというふうに考えております。TSMC founder Morris Chang drew a big crowd at his first public address of the year on Wednesday. Speaking at the Taipei Forum, Chang gave his view on why Taiwan is successful in the global chip sector. The 89 year old also told the story of how Intel once refused to invest in TSMC as it didn't see profits in a chip manufacturing business. Including TSMC's founder and Pegatron chairman Tong Zixian, were in the lineup of a Taipei forum on Wednesday. The event drew some 500 participants. The 89 year old Chang delivered a keynote on Taiwan's strengths in semiconductor manufacturing. Intel, this is a The previously mighty Intel has announced it also wants to enter the foundry business. To us, this proclamation comes off as quite ironic. Back then, they too would not have thought they'd want to do wafer manufacturing someday. Chenang recalled how when TSMC was being founded, he had sought investment from Intel but was rejected. Today, Intel finds itself in an ironic position of taking up a business it once burned. Chang said that TSMC has come a long way. Taiwan the Yusu. Taiwan's strengths are its talent and its operational and managerial abilities. Chang compared the semiconductor sectors of the US, China, and South Korea. He said US semiconductor firms rely on subsidies, which boost short term competitiveness but don't guarantee longevity. As for Chinese firms, he said they are no rival to TSMC. Samsung is TSMC's biggest rival. Why? Because South Korea's strengths in chip making are similar to Taiwan's. Nicknamed Taiwan's Sacred Mountain, TSMC plays a pivotal role in Taiwan's economy. Speaking of whether a second Sacred Mountain could rise in the future, Chang said it would depend on long term stable development and not on short term changes. He called on the government, society, and TSMC to work together to preserve Taiwan's strengths in the industry. <laughs> 